Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer. Um, I am 34 years old and I currently work as the Director of Events at Rugby Canada. Um, I joined Lean Squad back at the end of March and started phase one on April 8th of this year. So I'm, uh, I'm two phases in. Uh, today's actually the start of phase three for me. And I just wanted to share with you all sort of what brought me to Lean Squad and how I feel about the program um, so far. Um, so back in 2015, I had to have um, ACL reconstruction surgery on my knee. And uh, prior to that, I'd been really active. I played soccer, you know, three nights a week, um, went to the gym, uh, played other sports. So really active. And then the recovery process and rehab for my knee was just not a pleasant experience. Uh, really, I, I dealt with a lot of pain throughout that whole process. And so I struggled once I got through that to go back to playing sports. I just was too afraid, uh, too timid, because I didn't want to injure um, my knee again and have to go through all that. Um, so I just generally became less active um, and didn't really curb um, any of my other habits. So I don't really care for cooking. I don't like to cook. I'm not very good at it. Um, so, you know, in terms of eating habits, if my husband wasn't cooking for us, then I basically did takeout or would eat whatever was available in the kitchen. Anyways, um, over the course of the last few, few years, I noticed this slow creeping weight gain. So it wasn't anything drastic. It wasn't like I one day, you know, all of a sudden, two months after I stopped being active, I gained all this weight. It was just this slow, a little bit each year. Um, generally, I, you know, was feeling more sluggish. Um, I never really felt that that way before. Um, I wasn't as confident. You know, with every pair of pants I stopped being able to fit into or favorite top that didn't look right on me anymore, um, that just chipped away sort of at my self-confidence. And as being an outgoing person, that was really difficult and something that I, I certainly struggled with, particularly um, in, you know, the last few months uh, or the early part of this year. Um, so I tried to get or lose the weight several times, you know, over, over the past year on my own with just going to the gym more often and trying to eat better. Um, but I put that in quotations, eat better, because again, not really enjoying cooking and not really having a, a plan and just sort of trying to figure it out on my own was, um, uh, didn't really go so well, I guess. Uh, so still probably could have eaten even better. Um, but regardless, um, I did try and I used to look at all these different programs that you see online and see those transformations that people go through and think, oh my gosh, it just, I, I honestly, I thought I was a bit of crap because I, I didn't think I could ever get there. I thought no matter how hard I worked out, um, I wasn't, you know, wasn't able to see much results, if any at all. Um, and I just couldn't figure out, I found the grocery store very overwhelming. All the different ingredients that you needed to complete some of these meals were just, um, it was a lot for, for me. And, and when cooking isn't something you enjoy, um, it just made it that much harder. Um, but then I ended up seeing one of my very favorite rugby moms um, joined Lean Squad. Um, and I, you know, I, I knew a Phil, uh, from being on our national team. Um, and so it was just interesting. And I kind of started following her lean journey on Facebook and it was incredible to watch. So this was someone I knew who underwent an amazing transformation and seemed to really be loving, um, life and the program. Um, and that's really what made me in the end turn to lean squad and, and try it out so i contacted phil and the rest is sort of history um so phil's been unbelievable um he really really got to know me and my lifestyle and my limitations um before 
you know, creating this plan. And so it really is a plan that was made for me. And I love that about it. Um, and the great thing about his recipes for someone who doesn't cook is that they are really easy. So I am super proud that I've been cooking uh, actual meals and, and eating properly. Um, and, you know, while I'm still not the biggest fan of cooking, I don't enjoy cooking as much. It was at least um, really simple again and, and, and it kept me motivated to do it because the recipes were delicious. I was able to make them relatively quickly um, and because there weren't as many ingredients, you know, it was easy going into the grocery store because I didn't have to buy 10 million different things and search far and wide over the store. Um, it was just nice and nice and simple but for someone like me. I really, really appreciated that about it. Um, he also was able to customize my, my workout plan so that, you know, when I'm on the road, I travel a lot, um, you know, running events with Rugby Canada, you know, we're all over the country often and tra traveling frequently out West. I'm based here in the, in the Toronto area. Um, so I found that he was able to work with me on, well, if you're going to be in a hotel for a week and you're not going to have access to a kitchen necessarily, or, um, your normal gym, you know, here, here's what you can do. So it was super supportive. Um, I also was afraid, so we had to send in, in photos, as I'm sure you've seen, there's before and after photos of, of, uh, lots of people or, or transformation photos. Um, and that was super intimidating. I was uh, really embarrassed about my before photos and didn't really want many people to see them. In fact, at the end of phase one, I had asked Phil not to share my transformation. But then funny thing happened is, um, even though I told him not to share it, uh, I ended up showing everyone. So I started by showing you know, my, my mom and my sister and then uh, and then I was sharing it with my with my good friends, and then before I knew it, I was I think I had shown everyone I could who possibly wanted to listen to me had shown my photos, and I was very proud of them. And the response was super positive. Um, there was no body shaming, um, no negativity, um, and that's that's something that I found in this whole lean community. Um, you know, there's the social groups and uh, with other squatties and it's been super supportive. Like no one is negative. Everyone's there to help each other, share life hacks, things that have made, um, you know, going through, uh, this journey easier or more fun for them. Um, and then Phil is just so super accessible. You, you know, you have a question, you can direct message him and, uh, or even text him and he gives you, <laughs> gives you his information there. And, uh, he's, he's right there to help you out. So, um, I really embrace this whole, uh, Lean Squad, I love everything about the community and how positive it is. No one is going to look down on you if you have an odd day. In fact, Phil encourages that so, sort of um, uh, balance. Um, and, you know, if you're going to have have a few beers or a pizza or whatever it is, um, as a whoopsie here and there, that's nothing to be ashamed of and nothing to derail your whole um Whole program or whole uh, focus. I, I actually shouldn't even call it a program because it really is a lifestyle change. Um, yeah, so it's just something that's been very amazing. And I think, you know, the physical transformation was awesome. And I actually didn't even realize until I saw my, my before and after photos at the end of each phase, how much of a physical transformation that there was. Um, but the biggest and most amazing thing is the, the, you know, well-being transformation, the internal transformation with, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm myself again. I'm out there. I'm more going, I'm more inclined to say yes to going out for social gatherings because I'm not embarrassed about or worried about what I'm going to wear or, um, you know, what people might think. Um, and I have more energy to do those things. So, you know, there were so many times where I'd get invites to something and I was just I was so tired. Like, I was so sluggish, um, and th with this, I just am so energized. The amount of energy I have is, is unreal, and I'm really looking forward to seeing that just improve, and um, I, won't, I can't wait to see how how much better I even feel, you know, at the end of phase three or, or phase four. Like, I, I am for sure going to continue beyond the 90-day plan because it's been that um, 
life changing and that amazing in my life. So I can't thank Phil enough or the community uh, at large, that lean community for being there for me. And, um, you know, I, I really, really encourage other people to try it out um, because it, you know, your journey is going to be different from my journey, uh, but I, I am confident that it will still be amazing. Like, the journey really is what you make it and you have to put the work in for sure. And it's, it can be hard work. Um, but it's, it's so worth it. And I think you'll end up loving it just as much as, as I do. Um, so yeah, so thank you, Phil. Thank you, Lean Community. And, uh, I will be checking in another time, I'm sure. <laughs>